I'm not sure what this area is called, but we've been here before. And I had the same camera, which is kind of a foggy, hazy lens effect that I'm not too crazy about. And here we are again, and I've got the same camera. It's not as clear today as it was the last time, but we saw a huge flock of birds. There's a big open area, and you can get a direct viewing of Mount Diablo and the 5 Freeway. Episode 3 of California's Gold. Well, I feel like a Huell Hauser moment going on here. We just talked to a neighborhood gentleman, and he was talking about how the birds fly in throughout the day. This does not stop at this hour. It goes on for the rest of the day. And he believes that what draws the geese in is the cows who graze overnight and leave deposits on the ground and then the geese come along later and um, feed on whatever's left. So there's water out beyond if they want to take a little wade and clean their feet or... Well I know I sure would. <laughs> or stay here and just enjoy the feast. We've just seen a huge flock of geese. Usually they fly in when there's grain on the ground, but there are no crops growing here, so they must be feeding on insects. We were talking to some guy who had his own theory of what they're feeding on, and I found it kind of hard to believe. But he did say that a flock of geese got lost and flew into their uh, his mother's pool. That would have been something to see. But there must be there must be a thousand, two or three thousand geese out here. I picked up Amadeus at the Discovery Shop, although I had seen it before back in 84 when it came out. That wasn't the greatest year for me. Although I had a brand new car that I bought that year, but my best friend Lenny was killed in an auto accident. He was hit by a drunk driver. And I found out about it in the most unusual way. This other guy, Jim the Greek, that I used to hang out with just a little bit, had a dark room. Uh, I used to go to his house and there was condo and develop pictures. And I was always stuck with the dark room cleanup afterwards. So he also used to have Trivial Pursuit viewing parties. This is Jim the Greek. I was never invited to those. And then he had an Amadeus viewing party that I wasn't invited to either. He had a girlfriend that he just had no common ground with. And I used to listen to all his complaints, his endless complaints about his mistreatment. One time we were stuck in traffic. I was in the back seat of his car on the Riverside Freeway. He and his girlfriend were in the front seat. I'm in the back. And I rolled, back, rolled the back window down, and I'm saying things to, to other people stuck in traffic like, Hey, you know you look so great when you're stuck in traffic, just trying to pass the time. Suddenly I'm the scapegoat. Now the two of them have common ground. They're criticizing me. So I was glad I could help with that. Well, I get a call one night from his girlfriend to let me know that my friend Lenny was killed in an accident. Her younger sister was dating Lenny's younger brother, and I think that's how she found out about it before I did. And that's how I found out that my friend Lenny was, was killed on a New Year's Eve in 1984. So now I'm, I'm going to have to watch this movie again. Hopefully I'm not thinking about the other events of that year.
This was just some loosely knit video log and some random thoughts and events of the day. Nice to be able to sit outside for a change. First nice day we've had. We had a good walk this morning with all the geese. And all the patients in the world waiting for them to take off and fly, but they, they never did. Oh, no. And finally, a word about this camera. How can anything with an icon name take pictures of this poor quality? Pictures and video.